Hey everybody, welcome to Santa Stream. So today we're going to have a look at Argon. I love Argon, and now it's got audio bus compatibility. It's even better, obviously. Now, Argon is a monophonic virtual analog synthesizer, okay? It has lots of great features and some fantastic sounds. So we're going to listen to a couple of those great sounds. A1. It's for it's a, it's MIDI as well, and because it, this is an 88 no keyboard, it covers the whole range. So that's a great sound. And it has a great formant waveform in the waveforms and the oscillators, three oscillators. It's fantastic. Now, you can write new banks. Uh, if you select bank, it comes with a, another bank of, uh, of 64 tones. Each bank contains 64 tones, obviously, from A1 to H8. And Sign Vibes has done one as well, so you can load that if you want to. But um, it's not an expensive synth. It's quite reasonable in price. And it's meaty. sequence that you can program really simple as well which I'll get to in a bit some great sounds and that the sounds are consistently good Throughout the whole synth. Okay, so let's just go back to A1 in a second. I'm just going to skip over to this page. Now, this is the looper. The looper is absolutely super duper. Four bar looper. Okay, simples. It's easy peasy. So, all you need to do is if you want to record with a metronome, you can stick your metronome on. And all you do is hit record there, and it'll start from the beginning of the loop. So, you can wait till it counts round. One, two, three. <laughs> Now, the very cool thing here is that we can go back to our sounds. And what we can do now is that we can save. We just hit this save here, and it'll ask you to loop save. We'll loop save it on one. Okay, and are you sure? Okay. Now, theoretically, so what you could do is you could copy and paste uh, that to loop two. Well, you basically save the same loop again to number two. And then you could start over dubbing number two. So you can build up a kind of a track over the course of these loops here. And as you're recording, you can just select each loop as you're playing. Okay, so let's move along a little bit further. Here's oscillator one. And um, we can see that uh, it's on the format filter, but you know. And we have a. Uh, And then we have oscillator two, same kind of thing. And then that's it. Bring our level up a little bit here. And we go there. Let's see, this is our third oscillator. to our next section, which is our filter. There's all the usual stuff, key follow, LFO, envelope stuff, DSRs for the envelope. And then uh, we have our amp section here, so, you know, this is our basic... Uh, different things we have some 
EQ. We have gain, we can drive the gain higher. Okay, and um, move along to another section here, which is our delay. So you can see we can take the delay out. And uh, so we can put it back in a little bit as well. And this is the se step sequencer section. So if we activate the sequencer, and all we need to do here is start. Oh, I don't know. We'll just add some bits and pieces. And that'll be in pattern one, and pattern two will be blank. Uh, again, you get copy and paste as well. So if you set up a really nice sequence there, you can copy it to any of your other patterns. Move further along, and this is basically your keyboard controls. So I'm just going to... We have these little... We can flick between front and back, or we can select this button here, and we can choose any of our pages here. So if we go to master there, and we'll pick, I, I don't know, C5. Or... Bass sounds there. Great range of sounds. Okay, we'll skip along a bit here to our amp section. And we'll just drop the attack on that sound. A bit more punchy. Okay, now did this to show the step sequence of the keyboard page. So you can transpose, and so you have a scale on, and then you can edit the scale. Okay, so we can take that off. Transpose, hold, which is self explanatory, and uh, our portmanteau or glide, if you like so. And obviously, it's it's gonna get. So there you go, guys. There's a quick look at uh, Argon, which is absolutely super. It's a great synth. Sounds great. Works with Audio Bus now. What more do you guys need? And see you later.